Hey everyone, I'm John T from Shutters Academy and over the next couple of lessons we're going to try and learn a bit more about badminton. For these badminton activities you're going to need a couple of items. So number one, you're going to either need a badminton racket, a squash racket or tennis racket. If you don't have any of them, a frying pan will do or if you don't have any of them you can use your hand. In terms of what you'll be hitting, preferably if you have a shuttle, if you don't have a shuttle, a ping pong ball, if you have a ping pong ball, rolled up socks, and last, a tennis ball. But if you do use a tennis ball, try not to use your badminton racket in case you could break it. Okay, so for the first activity we're going to do, we're going to try and learn a little bit more about grips. So the first grip we're going to learn about is a forehand grip. So I'm going to become a bit closer. So for a forehand grip, all you need is to try and get your palm to face upwards. Okay, so on a badminton racket, a tennis racket, a squash racket, this is how it should look. So your palm should be up. Not here, but palm should be up. With a frying pan, same idea. Palm facing up. And if you don't have any of them, you're just going to have your hand facing upwards. All right, so the first activity you'll do, so you're going to take your thing you're going to hit with, so the tennis racket, badminton racket, frying pan, and the object. Okay. So what you're going to try and do is you're trying to hit up as many times as you can. So you can get to five to start with. So just like this. One, two, three, four, five. You're going to aim to try and keep it head height or below. All right, we're going to try and do this for two or three minutes. If you can get to five, see so if you can get to ten. You can get to ten, try and get to fifteen. All right, everyone give it a go. Right, I'm going to keep trying to change the equipment I use just to show everyone. All right, so it's a frying pan. Tennis ball. Right, see how many you can get. So you can try and beat all your other goes. Try and keep it nice and low and see if you can do it without moving too much. Right, squash racket. And you don't all need to change equipment. I'm just trying to do it to show everyone. If it does hit the floor, it's fine, just pick it up and then go again. Ooh, make sure you don't go too high. Don't want to damage anything. Really try and keep that palm up the whole time. Not to show any of your knuckles. And with a sock and hand, same idea, palm up, little taps. All right, so when you, if you want to carry on trying to do this, just pause the video, carry on, keep learning. And then when you're happy, move on and press play and move on to the next activity. All right, now we're going to move on. We're now going to try and do a backhand. So for a backhand, the idea is to try and keep your knuckles facing upwards. All right, so first and foremost, you're gonna place your thumb on the top of the racket. All right, you're then gonna turn your arm towards you. So your knuckles will then face upwards. All right, so that's the same with the badminton racket, squash racket or tennis racket with a frying pan. Again, you can place your thumb right down this silver bit or black bit, and then you're gonna turn it over and you'll hit with the opposite side. Little hit. And if you use your hand, you'll just keep your arm face over. All right. Same thing now, but with the back hands. Give those knuckles up. Try and tap it up as many times as you can. So you get to five, get to five, so you can get to ten. See how high you can get. Whatever equipment you've got is perfectly fine. All right. Just try and give it a go. All right. I'll keep changing equipment Ooh, just to show everyone. Same thing with the hand, little tap ups. Whoop, time to hit yourself. All right, now, pause the video, keep going, keep trying to get as high a score as you can. When you feel ready, press play again, and we'll move on to the next activity. Right, so this next one, we're now gonna come combine the forehand, where your palm is up, and the backhand, where your knuckles is up. Right, so every time you hit, you're gonna try and turn 
your hand. So you're gonna turn your hand every time you use it. If you use a frying pan, it's the same idea. You're gonna turn, turn every time. And with your hand, be the same thing. Right, so now when we actually try and do it, we just try and tap up the object. Nice small hits. Try and keep it below your head, turning your hand every time. See how many you can get. If you can get to five, brilliant. If you can get to 10, even better. Then same idea if you use a frying pan. Whoop. And again. And then with your hand. Whoop, go that way. Palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. Whoop. And again, palm up, palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. Again, this is quite hard, so pause the video, give it a try for a little bit of time, and then when you're happy, press play again, and we'll go on to the last one. All right, now, you're now gonna combine what you just did with a catch with your opposite hand. So you're gonna go a forehand, a backhand, and then you're gonna catch it with your opposite hand. So if you're hitting with your right, you're gonna catch with your left. If you're hitting with your left, you're gonna catch with your right. So it should look something like this. Here you go, forehand, backhand, catch. And again, forehand, backhand, catch. Again, it doesn't matter what you're using, it should all be the same. Even if you are using your hand, try and use the same hand to hit and the opposite hand to catch. Again, if you get good at this, see if you can only increase it to one, two, three, four, and then catch. All right, now, give this a go for a period of time. When you're happy, just finish the video and then we'll go on to the next activities and class whenever you're ready.